Roof Framing This roof will be framed using the Truss Set feature. To review how some of the default settings are defined, open the Roof Options menu. Default framing properties for the roof, such as framing spacing and truss style, can be set for the project in this menu. Select Draw, Framing, Gable End Truss. Using the two-click drawing process, draw the gable end trusses. Next, truss sets can be added. Using the expanding box method of drawing, indicate where the first truss set is to be set. Regardless of whether this roof is being stick-framed or trussed, the framing members will be laid out to conform to the roof shell. Additionally, if the ceiling board were vaulted, the truss members would also form their bottom cord to match, thereby creating a scissor truss. Right-click the truss set and select Edit. Change the spacing to 24 inches and click OK. Add the next truss set and edit it to have the same spacing of 24 inches. Rafters can also be added quickly using the Auto Stick Frame feature. Select Draw, Framing, Auto Stick Frame. Click on the garage roof and the gable roof on the right side of the house to automatically frame them with rafters. A shaded 3D model of the current framing of the project can be opened in a new tab from the 3D framing section of the navigation window. Orient the model to review the appearance of the roof framing. 